Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing, and we've got another Positioning Basics video for you today. We're going to be talking about how best to position someone when you're tattooing their thighs. All right. Okay, now that's over with, the thighs. Um, this seems to be probably the easiest way to like, or the, the most simple, straightforward uh, place to tattoo when you're doing a tattoo. And I see it most commonly because all of the tattoos that I see, even from less skilled artists that are on thighs when they're done, usually turn out really, really well, right? Um, so positioning on this stuff usually is just going to consist of you having somebody sitting on something, right? A chair, a table. I always like massage tables personally. We'll go back to our stick figures here. And all we're going to have is just them, you know, sitting on the edge, hugging a pillow, which I love the pillow hugging thing. And the artist is going to go from whichever side that they're working on, right? Sitting here, just chilling, tattooing a leg. Have your stand somewhere nearby, right? It's very simple. With the leg dangled down over the edge, you can pull that skin across the top edge of the legs super effectively, and it just like it's easy to tattoo. The tattoo's already pointing up. Um, things that you can do incorrectly when you're doing this is, especially if it's a larger scale piece or something that's to be close to the knee, if you have somebody laid out flat and you're doing this, hey. What you're going to end up doing is, especially down at the bottom of the knee with that leg up, you're relaxing a lot of the skin here and it's going to be extremely difficult to actually get a decent stretch on it. So you always want to make sure that that leg is going to be pulled as far down as comfortable for the client when you go to do it. Um, and in saying this now as well, like when you go to place a stencil, especially if you're new in the industry, you when you place a stencil on somebody who is going to be getting a tattoo on their thigh, around their knee, or any type of pivoting, like bending mobile part of their body, any joints, you wanna make sure that they're standing relaxed, right? If I have somebody, you know, just chilling out in a stool, sitting here, right? Looking out and doing their stuff or whatever, and I place a stencil on their knee when it's like this, that knee is gonna be expanded because, the, you know, the leg is actually bent. So as soon as that leg ends up kicking up, that thing ends up, the stencil will be placed on their knee contracts. And this will happen to about, when you see the quadricep like um, muscles, if they're able to be defined in the individual that you're working with, or you can even touch them and kind of like feel where they're at, where the bottom head of the outside delta, um, the quadricep muscle is, man, I'm just like chewing on my tongue today, sorry. The bottom head edge of that um, quadricep muscle is on the outside of the leg. That's usually that line that you wanna to try to stay above. So somebody flexes, right? Their leg is here. We're gonna to go to a stick person leg, right? And you can see a muscle at the top, on the inside, and then there's a bigger one that's on the outside. With this contracted and pulled up when somebody is standing, that outside edge, that, and when it's pulled up, that's where you normally wanna start any type of design. Anything below that is gonna experience a massive amount of distortion, right? So you can kind of get pretty close to this. If you're doing a large scale piece on a thigh, and maybe some of the uh, more organic aspects of it, that's not a focal point or an area of interest, bleed over that general line anywhere that's on that leg, actually. We say any of those muscles are kind of, yeah, anyways, I'll get more into that later. I shouldn't be talking about placing tattoos, but what can you do? Um, you're placing it and you know it, it goes down past that line and it's not something that actually is really necessary for the design. You don't have to worry about it, right? Because it's just, it's not something that people are gonna be focusing on. It might be an attractive point, like where somebody's wearing shorts, right? See something peeking up, they're like, oh, what's with your tattoo? You gotta lift up your pant leg, shorts, whatever. Well, not pants, I guess, unless you're wearing mesh pants, or whatever, um, for them to see it, right? So keep that in mind, right? If you are gonna be tattooing someone's thigh, make sure you place the stencil correctly, and then just have them stretch their leg a little bit by bending it. I'll just open up that top part of the leg, and you're good to go. That's it. This is Ryan from bettertattooing.com, signing off.